Let's get moving. It's even worse than I expected. The man I knew was flawed, but he could still muster a little warmth. Huh, sounds like you knew a very different Riddler than the one I met. I wish he'd never come back to Gotham. Me too. There's hope for everyone. I don't think any of us are beyond reach. <laughs> I know we've just met, but somehow I knew you'd say that. You knew him best. Where do you think he'd keep any info on what we're after? Well, not to state the obvious, but... It's probably behind a riddle or a puzzle somewhere. Oh, I call the downstairs bedroom! <laughs> Careful, John. This place is probably a death trap. Follow him, Bruce. I don't want John's curiosity to get us killed. I'm getting really tempted to touch something! <laughs> Handcart. Wonder what he was moving. Hey, Bruce, I've been wanting to talk to you alone. You have? I don't like how cozy Catwoman was with Riddler. Because he was a killer? Because he was rude to me! We need to stick together. I don't trust this kitten one bit. You know what they say about a black cat crossing your path. No, she's nice once you get to know her. Right, let's agree to disagree. But I'll keep my peepers peeled for both of us. You gotta admire the ingenuity. It's a wonderful toy. It's a wonderful way to lose your hand. Well, you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. There's something under here. Some kind of platform. second inevitably follows. You have to work hard and sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here.
This is where he built his boxes. understand my mind you must first walk a mile in my well certainly you know the rest be careful what you said on those Tesla coils. This whole place is an electrical death cage. If these start sending out energy, we'll all fry. Work, sleep, death. A little grim. A little boring is what it is. Why do you hate Riddler so much? I've mentioned this before, but uh, he always interrupted me. Never let me get to the punchline. It takes a lot of confidence to tell a joke, you know? Made me look like an idiot in front of Harley and those other guys. Well, hey, uh, I guess I have the last laugh now. <laughs> John, we're friends, right? So I gotta ask, what do you see in Harley? A ruthlessness. The way her accent comes and goes when she's mad. The way she lets things escalate into violence. <laughs> Good. I I've been meaning to ask it. The green hair, what, what, is, what is that? I don't know, what's with your black hair? I'm sorry, buddy. I'm a little sensitive about my style. Well, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I don't remember anything about myself before Arkham, and when I came to... Well, here it was. I guess it's natural. You're not ready to die just yet. Oh, wait. Yes, you are. <laughs> You'll have to work hard and sleep hard in order to earn your way six feet under. What did I tell you? I suppose those are our clues to whatever Riddler is hiding in here.
Tesla coils. This whole place is an electrical death cage. If these start sending out energy, we'll all fry. Work, sleep, death. A little grim. A little boring is what it is. Riddler's bed couldn't look less comfortable if he tried. A pair of Riddler's shoes. He didn't exactly have great fashion sense. Well, he did say something about a foot. Canned food, and lots of it. We can't all get lobster thermidor on a whim. Hey, Catwoman. Hey, money man. How'd you and Riddler first meet? You know, I do a lot of... freelance work. Let me guess, Riddler wanted a painting from the Louvre? <laughs> Without bragging too much, it was an easy job. Huh. After all, I'd already robbed the place twice. He became a valuable contact when money was tight. I'm just curious if you... Yes? You missed me. John is right downstairs. Yes or no? Answer the question. <sighs> Fine. Of course I did. But don't read any more into it than that. So why are you really here? I said I'd tell you when we're alone. We're not. I'll tell you later. I take you by night, by day take you back. None suffer to have me, but do from my lack. <laughs> that sounds positive. Sure proud of his exploits, wasn't he?
This is my city. This is my plan. Nobody will interfere. Oh, goody. It looks like you've got both feet in the grave. You hear that? It's like you're standing on an elevator. I bet whatever we're looking for is down there. Maybe someone should stay up here. Keep watch. Good point. Let's go, Bruce. Sorry, cat lady. Or maybe you could stay? Oh, no. Harley gave me an assignment, and I mean to fulfill it. Harley's not here. She'll never know. But I... Hey, I thought we were friends. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll be on the next one. He's... something. Charming and unnerving at the same time. So, now that we have a moment, care to fill me in? Care to tell me the real reason you're doing this? Out with it, Bruce. What's going on? I'm undercover. For yourself? <laughs> Isn't Bruce Wayne kind of always undercover? Or is it the other way around? No, yes, I'm undercover working with a group called the Agency. Partnered up with people, huh? Good to hear you've grown a bit. Sorry if I was a little rattled at the clubhouse back there. Wasn't quite ready to see your face again, but... You look good. Even with what looks like a piercing gone wrong. Not great or anything. But... good. You look great too. I didn't say great. I said good. Okay, duly noted. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? You're not really in bed with this... pact. And what if I am? Maybe I need the money. Maybe I don't. Who knows? The world's a complicated place. You're better than that. You keep saying that. You're like a broken record. You two get a move on. Playing guard is getting pretty boring. Just another minute. We've got it under control, John. Fine. But we've got a job to do, remember? Let's just see what this is all about. Oh, not a typical on button. be something nearby we can use. Didn't Riddler carry one of these in Europe? He did, but they were purely aesthetic. I think it might be a trap? Maybe. But we already made it past the line of security, so... Maybe not? 
Your certainty is assuring. USB drive. Here we go. Decryptor detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Project Lotus. Sanctus. Retinal scan required. Shit. I haven't made the goggles yet. Retinal scan. Time out. The fastest protocol enacted. The decryptor! Danger around every corner. Glad to see Gotham hasn't changed. You know what Sanctus is, don't you? I heard stories on jobs. Best I can piece together, they're a group up to... No good is generous. They're scary. Great. One thing's for sure. We're not getting any more info off that thing. Well... There's always Riddler's laptop. Harley still has it. The decryptor probably works with that as well. Everything okay down there? Send the lift back up. I should have come back sooner and reeled Riddler in, but I didn't. Knowing he was tangled up with Sanctus, and what he did to Lucius, this is my fault. My mess to clean up. By yourself? I can help. Why? Do I look like I need your help? You don't have the code to do what needs to be done here, Bruce. You want to do this your way? You'll have to beat me to it. What are you doing? Balancing the scales. You are not leaving here with that. Oh, honey. I'm already gone. Forceful as always. <laughs> Bye, Bruce. It's been fun. You've gotten rusty. You haven't gotten past me yet. Slow down a bit. You're coming out blurry. I forgot how skilled you are with your hands. <laughs> Awfully bold move, considering we just met, Mr. Wayne. This is flirting. Move, John. Ah! Sorry, Bruce. 
But I'm taking Harley's laptop for myself. And I'm finishing this my way. <clears throat> Harley's laptop, huh? You and I, we're going to talk. Somewhere else. So, John, about the laptop, um... You know, I'm the first guy who resort to stealing from anyone, anyone but her. But in a way, that almost makes it more enticing. But in another way, maybe I tell her, getting her good graces. Maybe I will, and maybe I'll do just that. Then she remember my name has an H in it. She always spells it J-O-N. And how do you think Harley feels about snitches? She told me to snitch. I think she likes them. Well, maybe not. I don't know, Bruce. I'm torn here. Just thinking about her makes me feel like I'm floating. She's the most intriguing creature ever to grace me with a demeaning insult. Which is great, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want more, Bruce. Like you and Catwoman. I'm only a little ashamed to say that dance had my pulse pounding. What's your relationship with her? Your real one? Catwoman and I are... What we have is a little tangled up. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be that tangled up with Harley. <sighs> if only Harley saw me. Like, really saw me. The world's a crazy place, isn't it? I want Harley, and you want the laptop. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. I help you with Harley. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You're up to bat, then, Wayne. What did you do to make Catwoman purr? How can I get that with Harley? People aren't as complex as you make them out to be. Harley's smart, but she's still human. She can be manipulated just like anyone else. Anyone, huh? How does one go about performing this magic trick? Find a problem they have, and then make sure they think you are the only one who can solve it. Once they have to rely on you, they're yours. <laughs> We're social animals, John. Might as well exploit it. But how do you know what makes them tick? Too bad you can't just open them up and take a look. You just need to talk to them. Just... They'll reveal themselves soon enough. Give them something small about yourself, something insignificant that maybe they already know, but you act like it's a confession, and then you watch the floodgates open. I see, I see. Yeah, that reminds me. Did I ever tell you I was locked up in a mental hospital? Not too long ago, either. Nice try. I've learned that manipulation can take on many forms. Some of them more subtle than others. Tell me more. Tell me everything. Get inside their head. Once you know how they think, you know what they want. And you use that. You know, one of the doctors in Arkham tried to get in here. Wait, wait. I have an idea. Let's try it out. First thing that comes to your head, what do you see? I don't think. Let your gut guide you. Pearls, like a broken necklace. How poetic. That's emblematic of loss right there. I've lost too, Bruce. Did you know you're not supposed to put a new male guinea pig with a female who just had pups? I didn't. 
Do you know what they do? They kill them. All of them. And not because they're evil. No. It's just biology. No one can help what's in their DNA. <laughs> You're an interesting case study, Mr. Wayne. I think you might be a danger to yourself and others. <laughs> Is what Dr. Leland would always say to me. <laughs> now, this one. What do you see? I don't know. It looks like a... like a maze. The alleyways of Gotham. Ah. A complicated path. The way out isn't clear, huh? You ever do the mazes in the back of those activity magazines and doctor's waiting rooms? I have. A ton of them. Been waiting my whole life just to be seen. What an illuminating evening this has been, Bruce. I feel like we're on the verge of a breakthrough. Let's try just one more. John. Sorry, something just came up. Uh, it's business. I have to run. So soon? It's, it's fine. A for effort, Bruce. I guess I won't go tattling to Harley. So, will you help me get the laptop? Gosh, Bruce. We did have a good back and forth with the tests. I feel so much closer. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, mister. Wait. Jeez. Okay. Let me mull over the logistics. But I'm in. Meet me back at the subway when you're done with your business. And because we're pals, coffee's on my dime. Bruce? <laughs>